Now the South Aussie duo on a mission to boost our bee population. This Riverland father and son team are so passionate about the cause, they not only keep bees which produce liquid gold, they also rescue them, filming it all for their popular YouTube channel. And as Paul Macon found out, these busy bees are now ready for their campaign to go global. I said to my lad, I said, well, this could be fun. Maybe we should actually video one of these shows. Do you want to fatten them up before it gets too cold? It just really goes to show that we've, I think we're onto something here. I got all motivated and washed my suit, left my cigarette lighter in the bloody pocket, so I'm reckoning that's at the bottom of the wife's washing machine. So she'll be impressed. Meet the bush bee man, Mark DeCoe, and his son, John, the camo. They didn't like that. Don't think they like us. Do you blame them? Not really. <laughs> the Riverland duo are a YouTube sensation with their B-grade movies. Holy shit, look at that one. You should come in here and have a look at this too. Mark, a chef turned almond farming beekeeper, loves these industrious little critters. Or as he calls them, his girls. And that's what we'd call a sticky which is basically the extracted honeycomb, so we can pop that back in the hive when the girls need some more. Give a bit of a rattle. Yeah, the girls are all over the queen. I just find it really, yeah, really charming and interesting as to how clever they are. The Bush Bee Man has had 1.5 million hits on its digital platforms. It's incredible to look where we come from and where we are now, and just it's helped me as a filmmaker myself to um, refine skills. Go for it, Dad. Dr. Doolittle was a beekeeper. Dad's a, he just dribbles gold every time he's on camera. <laughs> Even the kookaburras reckon I'm an idiot having a laugh at me. Mark is kind of like a bee dundee. This is definitely in the realm of fucking insane. Look at that lot. Oh my God. It has a real Aussie attitude to things and just getting down and gritty and dirty and doing the job. What you see in these episodes is what I grew up with. And he's the go-to bee wrangler when a swarm goes rogue. Got bailed up in the supermarket the other day by this nice lady whose husband's made these cool little bird's nests that the bees have taken over. Here we are at the downtown Loxton. So he's saving the parrots and catching bees instead. With their exploits on camera creating a huge fan base and their liquid gold being snapped up locally, the boys are now aiming higher to the skyscrapers of New York where bees are king or queen. Yeah, yeah, apparently they're on top of a couple of really high hotels over there. This very classy hive is on the roof of the Waldorf Astoria. I mean, how cool would that be, travelling overseas as a couple of Aussie beekeepers from the bush? And that's no beeswax. A GoFundMe page launching later this week will help them get there to fly the flag for Australia. We're going to be the source of bees for the rest of the world going forward if the, the diseases continue to escalate. Meanwhile, the bush bee man continues to be the movie of the week. And I think we're actually on the cusp of exploding more, so because anybody who watches us, they feed it with all their friends. And of course, that's, that's how this whole thing works. It's exponentiating, is that the word? <laughs> I don't know. Well, cross-pollinating. Cross-pollinating, I like that, yes. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> Just awesome. Paul Macon there. And the 50th episode of Mark and John's YouTube series went online today. You'll find a link on our website.